Hey, right, you guys, here we are, hole two. So what I've been trying to do here um, with this hole is just trying to get it laid up into this fairway. If you can do it with a power four ball, it'll be ideal. However, I'm just going to use power three ball for my guide. Um, but that extra little bit of range will actually help you just to kind of confirm that you can, no matter what, keep the ball from going um, out of range and having to need extra power on your albatross attempt. So you may want to, you know, especially if you have the balls, just go ahead and use them. For this one, this is a good good hole for that specifically. But what we're going to do is just try to focus on getting the ball towards the edge of the fairway. Now, what I'm typically doing is somewhere between two and three on the top spin. Try to kind of lay off of it a little bit. That might be two and a quarter. And I'm just going to try to curl it over there. Now, what I'll typically do is maybe about for a seven here, maybe six six-ish rings just a little bit shy of six rings and you can see with how much curl I'm using and just trying to get this ball foremost into the uh, bulk of the fairway here and hopefully it doesn't roll through as you can see when you keep that top spin down um, it, it should stop just short of the edge and that's ideally what you want is to get it down here but uh, you know, short still in the fairway. So one thing that you can note is my shot maybe just been a little bit light on the curl. Had I gave it just a little bit more curl, I would have been able to shoot it just a little bit more into that uh, little bigger section to the right there. And I wouldn't have been quite so close to the edge. But just make sure when you hit that shot that you're not adding any additional power on your curl because you don't want it to uh, be projecting long into the rough there. So here we are. And what I'm typically going to do, I'm going to try to put just a little bit of curl here. The biggest reason for this is wind effect. So I'm just trying to make sure that I kind of get that ball guide shooting off towards the left before I start my ring adjustment. Next thing you'll see that I'm keeping it kind of relatively short. I do want to get just a little bit aggressive here. So other than that, I'll typically go pretty max on the adjustment. So for an 8, I'm thinking 8.6, I'm maybe going to go 8 rings here. But also keep note that I was offsetting that guide considerably because it's going to need it. Now you can see it did just barely clip the rough there. I'm trying to get semi-aggressive there. Um, what, what ends up happening is the ball will come in just a little bit too hot. If you don't, you know, get that backspin just the way you want it. So somewhere, you know, you want it to just creep over that bunker. And that's why you can see, you know, I did clip the rough there. But that's just what it takes. Like you have to just get it to that perfect and hopefully get that perfect bounce to where it just hops over and runs down towards the hole. Now, either, either way, you know, we should pretty much have this locked up so it shouldn't be you know, a very big deal. You can see all I have to do is just kind of play the edge of the hole, more or less, and we should be able to just pop this up into the hole. But it's about taking that little bit of extra risk to potentially get that albatross, and that's what it's going to take. But just make sure that you're, you know, keeping all those factors in mind. Hopefully you hit that top of that hill just right, and it bounces over the bunker. It looks like I may have just caught just a little bit too much downslope there. So keep that in mind. Um, and good luck there.